In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the base of the chain and sprocket launcher. So, the first thing to do is to open the folder that you downloaded and create a new file. And you want to open that folder um, while you create a new file so that new file will be inside the folder. So in this file, you will want to save and then name it chain and sprocket launcher or anything you want press save and to make the base plate the first thing to do is you would want to get the 4x12 base plate and right click it and insert into design and then you press ok if this thing doesn't pop up you would just press the 3x3 dots at the top left and open the folder Next, you need to get the 2x12 beam. Right click that and insert it into design. And I'm just gonna drag that out. Press OK. And then we need to join these two pieces together. So I'm gonna press join. Or you can also press J. And select the middle one of any of these spaces. And then I'm gonna control and hold the middle mouse key button so I can orbit around. And I'm gonna choose the side, the face adjacent to this, which is right here. Click the middle of that. And this will be a rigid join. And now press OK. Now I'm just gonna press home. I'm gonna insert connector pins. And I'm gonna drag these out. I'm gonna click this, copy, control C, and control V. I have more. I'm gonna need a total of 11, I think. So I'm just gonna control click both of these, copy, control C, and control V, drag it out. And then I'm gonna copy it two more times, control C, control V, drag it out this way. And I'll just do it one more time, control C, control V. Okay. So, to attach these inside of these holes, press join, and then you hover over this middle part, and then you select this bottom dot. Not the triangle or up here, just the bottom dot. And then you select the center of the hole you want to put it in. So, in this case, you want to put it in this hole, so you select the middle here, click it. And then, because it is inside of this block, we need to flip it, so click flip over here, and then press OK. And we just need to do this um, a couple more times. So one here, flip it. One here, flip that. One here, and the way I'm panning is by holding the middle mouse click button and dragging. And the next one needs to go over here. That's third from the end. And there needs to be four on that line. So one here, one here. And it looks like I did this one wrong. So if you want to edit the joint, click on the joint, right click, and you can just press edit joint, and you can modify the joint if you make a mistake. Put one here. One here. And this one needs to be uh, four away from this one. Just end joint. And the last one is over here. And okay. Now we need to insert the connector pieces. So we get a two by um, two by six beam. Right click, insert into current design. 
and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees let's just drag it out a little bit and we're going to attach this hole to this hole so in, to, in order to do that let's orbit around and select the bottom of this hole orbit back and, and we're going to do the same thing we did to connect these pins into here except, and select that middle part just click it and press ok and all of these are rigid joints and then we're going to add two 1x6 beams um, rotate that to 70 or 90 degrees it's ok I'm going to attach it to this hole so joint select the middle and select the middle of this it's ok and finally we get the last one rotate that 90 and if you want to select the whole element you can double click it and then you can uh, select the whole thing let's it go from the bottom you can also click the rim of the hole and let's put it here and press ok and there's our base plate now one last thing we want to do is we want to create this and put them all inside of one component so make sure you're clicking up here click on new component let's name it base plate so base plate click ok and then we can just click up here and then click active component so we can see the pieces and then we're going to control click every single piece that was inside of the base plate we're gonna um, click, hold, and drag, and put it inside of this base plate component. And finally, I'm gonna select all of these pieces in the timeline down here. And this is because um, as you continue on with the project, the timeline is gonna get super messy, and it will be almost impossible for you to find anything. So this is just to keep it organized. So you right click and then click on create group and finally make sure to save so control s and enter